he has more information about that. And you also have to be in good uh, standing with, with USJF, okay? So uh, you wanna, if you have any questions, you can either talk to me or uh, Sensei Nate G. My knees are out. Okay, my knees are out. So what if my knees are in here? Now again, he has advantage, right? No, right? So make sure your knees are out. So can you step? Uh, no, he can. Okay. So put your feet in and. So your knees are out. Your knees are out. And again, you have to make sure it's really tight. Grabbing, you know, elbows, both elbows. Not, you know, not the wrist. There's a lot of space here. Okay, so elbow, both elbows. And now, okay, get down on your back and use your legs here to here. And Yes, yes, that's now. Yes. Ah, good job. Very good. Good job. Okay, so 
another way of uh, katagata. Okay? So here, and, and after you turn him over, yeah, this is okay, this is good, this is good, but okay, there's another way. I like this way. So from here, from here, yeah, this is strong, but so now from here, make sure you, you know, you keep pressure down and you can let go your left hand and grab a judo gi and pass it to the other hand. And now, you know, the other hand is free. You can make more flat. Can you uh, get up? It's already tight. So this is my favorite way. So this is again, this is good, this is good, but this is tighter. This is tighter. From here, right away, you let go your left hand and grab your lapel and pull down and pass the, pass the gi to the other hand from here to here. Now, my left hand is free and you can, you can be flat, you can be flat like this. It's really hard to get up. All right, so if we want to try. Okay. to chest and hip to hip and pull sideways right your left hand and right handed pull sideways to make him off balance off balance okay chest to chest so his chest to my chest and hip to hip okay this is a bad example here right this you know and obviously too far from him too far so getting straight forward, making uh, chest to chest and keep the hip. Keep the hip. And so with my right hand, my three day hand, so pull and bring the elbow to you. Here to here. Like this. And then so when you throw. Okay, so push him down all the way. Okay, so get in and three and push him down. So this is a, okay, so bad example here. Okay, do not leave your right arm behind you. So now look at my uh, right arm, okay? Push all the way down. All the way down. And so for the first step, step and kick. This is the first step, right? Now it's like one, two, three. 
Now taking three steps. <coughs> One and three. Behind his knee. So like knee to knee. One and two. One and two. Sweep all the way through. Sweep all the way. Right? Okay. Uh, Alright guys, do you have any any questions? Okay guys, no throws, but let's go with Chikoni. Five sets of ten times. And come back. Okay, let's go. Thank you. <laughs> Instead, you want to bring him to you like this. Instead of getting in to him. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Right? Not coming into his, you know. Not, you know, getting into him. Not this way. But try to bring him to you. So that you can, you know, get more balance every time. Yeah, look his balance. Okay, look at his balance. Every time I want to make him off balance. I want to make him stand like on one foot, like off balance, like this. Every time. And three pulls away. Okay? You don't want to get into, you know, get into your hand like this. This is a bad example. But you want to bring him towards you. You know what I mean? Yes? And uh, yeah, still, you know, your right hand is you know, behind, like this. Behind, like this. Hold and bring it, bring it up to you. Bring, okay, bring it up, bring it, bring the elbow to you. And either you can use the whole arm. You can use your whole arm to push him down, or you can sometimes you can use your, your knuckle to push him down. So either way, again, you have to push him down to finish your throw, right? You have to use your right hand to finish, to finish your throw. Yeah, this is bad, right? You have to push him, push him down all the way. All right. Okay, so now, so the another way of also do it. So sometimes, you know, like hajime and, okay, you go this big part. And then grab both lateral. Okay, you can grab both lateral like this. And almost, almost no one expects you to get in also do it from this way. Both, both but you can still get in also the way. Again, almost no one expects you to get in also the way from the both uh, lapel. So again from here, so one and two, you can, you can move around and go from, from you know, both lapels. Here and again, the same thing, you have to use the right hand, you have to use your left hand like sideways. Only one step. Move around and go. You can still get into a also the right from the both both lapel. <coughs> chest again, still chest to chest and hip to hip. Not <coughs> not like this. This is too far. So make sure you get in to chest to chest and. You know, stick to your head. Alright? Okay, so let's try this first. Okay?
That means I'm right-handed and against, you know, left-handed. Okay? <coughs> so now, again, right, I'm right-handed and he's left-handed. So first of all, I want to get the lapel first. Okay? So for also dogari, still you have to have both hands. Okay? You have to have both hands on. Here, and then, you know, I have to reach this leg. And go, reach it, and go closer, you can take a step. One more time. Yeah, look, but look at my feet. My legs from here, from here, just one, and come back. Right here. The same concept. So once you, so once, once you get here, the same. Sweep the leg, and push him down. Right? Same thing. Here, go. And so again, so so first of all, you have to reach, you have to reach his leg first. Okay, use your heel. Okay, from here, just step right there. If you step like this, if you take a big step like this, so he's gonna know what I'm, you know, what I'm tr trying to do. So do not take a big step like this. Okay? You don't want to take a big step. Instead, you can step right here, step right here, then like this, and walk. From here, step, step like this. So my face is, my body is always, you know, facing sideways here, and Again, my body is facing sideways, that way. From here, okay, so step, 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 step. <coughs> and finish. Here, and go. One more time. So, instead of taking a big step, step right here to gain momentum. You gain more momentum like this. Take a step. So lift up and kick. Push up. Here. Push up. So here, okay. Take a step. And reach. So with the heel first. With the heel. Poke. So behind his knee. So behind his knee and step. Step, step, a couple of times. Then when you get here, <coughs> finish your throw. The same, the same thing. Take a step, right here, right here, right here. Step, step, and sweep the leg, and push him down. Right here. So lift up, so lift up the leg and push off. Leg up and push off. Leg up and push off. Okay, let's go now again. This is the situation where you're right-handed versus left-handed. Alright? Okay, let's go.
that's the old, old trigger. Okay, yes. So. Another go. So how many steps? Two. Two. Mm. One. One. One step. Two. One step. Like one. Oh. Net. One, two, three. Count, guys, okay? Count. How many steps? One. Only one step. Okay? Only one step. So this is my way. Okay? This is my way. I I step with my left foot first. Okay, left foot straight forward. Left foot forward and at the same time. Okay? At the same time. I fork. As I step, I fork. At the same time. Okay? Step and fork. At the same time. One. One time. One. One step. Okay? Just one. Right? Not like one and two. But only one step. So stepping, stepping forward, stepping forward and four. One. Not like you know, not like one and two. Nope. Just one. Again, not like you know, one and two, but go. Just one, one step. Could you? Okay, could you? All right. And my hands, I have to pull first. I have to pull to get to get closer to him. If I don't pull, what happens is, you know, I'm gonna be too far, right? Too far. So pull first, pull. To get close. So pull and pull. And as you sweep the leg, as you sweep, as you sweep the leg, of course you have to push him down. Okay, you have to push him down to, to finish your throw. Pull first. Pull and sweep the leg and push him down. With both hands. Okay, not only one hand, not only your right hand, not only your left hand, but use both hands, push him down to finish. Push him down. All the way. But overall, it's, you know, one motion. Like one motion, like one fluid motion. It's not like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, not, not, not like this. Okay, one full like motion. So again, your hands pull both hands. So it doesn't have to make a you know, chest contact. You know, you don't have to make a chest contact, but at least you have to pull to get closer. Right, you have to get, you have to get closer, pulling first. And sweep the leg. Sweep the leg and push him down. Okay, it's really important to use your hands. Of course, this is one of the foot techniques, right? Ashwaza, right? But more importantly, you have to use your hands. You have to. Okay? Go one more time. So, pull. Both hands, right? Both hands. Snap. Snap. And sweep and push. All the way. <coughs> Push. One full little motion. Like one full little motion. And you can walk behind or below his his knee. Right here. Then sweep. Okay. Not only fork, but sweep through. Sweep through. Sweep. 
sweep through all the way. Right? Okay, so do you have any questions?